Meg from Flagstaff Hill. Welcome to the Little Winter Flagstaff Hill School Holiday Program. Today we're going to be doing some cooking. We're going to be making some pizzas, but our pizza base only has two ingredients. So it's extra special and extra easy. To make these pizzas, what you need is one cup of self-raising flour, one cup of Greek yogurt, and for your toppings you can do anything that you like, but I'm going to use some tomato sauce, some cheese, some ham, and I'll use a little bit of pineapple too. Let's get started. So our first step is to preheat the oven to 180 degrees, which we've already done, and step two is to put some baking paper on a tray, which we've already done. Now we get into the good part. Step three, we have to mix our self-raising flour and our Greek yogurt. Yogurt. So one cup, and then one cup of the Greek yogurt. A bit more. And now we have to mix these two together until they resemble a dough texture. You need to have a big mixing bowl because it goes up the sides and you don't want it spilling everywhere. And I reckon it's getting a bit sticky, I might use my hands. So I've already washed my hands, which you should at the beginning as well. Let's get this off. So once your dough is nice and sticky, you want to put it onto some flour on the bench. So we've sprinkled some flour, and we're going to put it down here. Go with the little extra bits. Ours is a bit sticky, so we've put some extra flour down on the bench, and then we're going to knead it. Oops, that's sticky. I need some flour on my hands. So if your hands get really sticky, what you do is you get some flour, and you sprinkle your hands together. You don't get flour everywhere like me. So we have our dough looking nice, and the next step is to separate it into eight balls because we're going to make mini pizzas today. But if you want to make some bigger ones, just separate it into less. So let's go. Still a bit sticky. The hardest bit was getting all the dough off my hands. Half again. And then put a bit more flour on there and make them less sticky. And then half one more time. So there we go. That's how many, or well, the size of the ball that you're going to have. They're only going to be little. Okay. Do another two. Put flour on your rolling pin. We're going to roll it out. That's a bit better. If it's a little bit sticky, you can just put some more flour on your rolling pin. Nearly there, look, well, nice and thin. There we go. And then you get the baking tray that we prepared earlier. I'm gonna put the pizza dough, pizza base now, on the tray. So we've rolled out all of our little pizza bases and now we're going to decorate the topping. So you can put whatever you like on your pizzas. We're going for a bit of a Hawaiian theme with ours. So I'm going to put some tomato sauce. Well, I'll just do one at a time. Smooth it out. It's easier if you have separate spoons, but we're just going to use the one. Voila, and then we put some cheese. Yum. 
little pieces of pineapple. You can also I'm going to decorate all the rest and then we're going to put them in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. Now we're going to put these in the oven. Just joking that doesn't work. In the 21st century we use bigger ovens like this. So it's been 15 minutes and our pizzas are done. Let's get them out of the oven. Here are our pizzas fresh out of the oven. To download the recipe, head to flagstaffhill.com for the Little Winter School Holiday Program.